Good day, guys. I'm sure most of you guys are now aware that the R301 has been nerfed. They increase its recoil pretty drastically. Not just the vertical recoil, but the horizontal recoil, which is like really the hardest one to control where it goes from side to side. I talk in this video how you can control the new recoil, but it's no lie, it's not the gun it once was. The gameplay you're watching right now is obviously the old R301 clip. I think anyone can clearly see that. I was a master with it and could make it look like a zero recoil laser beam. The new one, not so much. I feel like there will be a way to learn this new recoil and there will be a way to control it to make it have no recoil, but it will definitely be a lot harder and I talk about that and in this video I also talk about guns that could possibly replace the R301 now that it has been nerfed. So the old R301 recoil you guys seen was a complete laser beam from an old clip but now it is all changed. It can still be a laser beam for the first 10 shots. The first 10 shots aren't that bad at all but for extended fire is when the R301 goes to crap. So if you hold down the trigger for ages It'll start recoiling from side to side. Now, if I had an extended mag, you'd see it a lot more. It'd pull to the left and then it'll pull to the right. The recoil part now is like up and to the left a tiny bit, but then after about 10 or 11 shots, it'll start pulling straight to the left and then to the right. The old R301 recoil used to go up and to the left. That was basically it, and it was super easy to control once you learned the recoil pattern just by fighting it. You could make the R301 an entire 30 round R301 clip. You could pretty much laser it and have perfect accuracy. Now that they've changed it, it goes to the left and to the right a little bit, but you still can laser the first 10 or so shots. You can pretty much have zero recoil. I'll spray the R301 for about 10 shots to show you guys the recoil without me controlling it. And it goes like up pretty vigorously. So for the first like fair few shots, you can control that and make it pretty much a no recoil weapon. But as soon as you start shooting over, over around 10 bullets, it'll start recoiling from side to side, making it no longer the laser beam. Now, if I relearn this recoil pattern and learn the new one with the new sideways recoil, there might be still a way I can fight it and make it a zero recoil laser beam, but I haven't got used to this weapon yet. You'd need at least 100 to 1,000 kills for the R301 to get an idea of how the new recoil pattern works and learn to fight it. Because there's a lot involved with fighting recoil. You have to aim at your opponent and move your stick, but at the same time, you need to be holding down or to the right or to the left to control the recoil, which is definitely going to take most people a while to adjust to this new recoil pattern. The R301 is still a good weapon and you're gonna have to learn the new recoil pattern and do your best to control it. But in this video today, I talk about different guns and different options and I wanna leave it up mostly to you guys. I want you guys to tell me what you think will be the best R301 replacement or whether you're still gonna use the R301 even though they nerfed the recoil. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and enjoy the video. It's an extremely high kill solo and it's got a hilarious ending that I definitely think you guys will enjoy. The flatline's good. It's just, it's probably even better now that the R301 got a big nerf. That definitely made it better. There's so many people around. What the fuck's going on? Fuck, he went up the top, top. Give me 10 seconds, sweetheart. I'll be up there too. Oh, he knows. Come on. Nice try. Recharging shields. Where was that guy that was shooting at me? Interesting. Whee! Yeah, I definitely think the flatline's better than the hemlock. For like, oh, this guy had real good loot. Should we still rock the R301? Or do you reckon it's too doo doo now? What the fucking shit, brother? Interesting. You scared the living shit out of me. These, these guys just come and crouch walking up to you and make you fucking so scared. Sneaky little buggers. Oh shit, I'm dead. If you let me kill you after coming across on a zip line, oh my god, how do you fuck that one up? I'm not gonna ask questions, but you probably should have killed me. 
Alright, we good. That's a good thing about the um, G7 Scout. It's accurate on zip lines. Big damage coming in from Zeus. Oh, he's actually contesting me. I didn't expect that. He can see me, I'm red. Should I be scared of an altered bloodhound chat? I need to get better with this gun. I'm actually garbage. I don't think I should shoot I think I should shoot it like really slowly. Yeah, like just like one tap at a time so it doesn't recoil. So if you spam it, it actually has like highish recoil, right? I kept giving my shields a recharge. There's gonna be another dude that rushes to third party. You'd hope so at least. By the way, yeah, what should I start using it running instead of the R301 chat? Havoc or G7 Scout or Flatline? What do you guys recommend? The, the R301's still good though. Maybe I should just get used to it. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Should be like a good R301 replacement. Crabber? Crabber, 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 crabber. Oh, yuck. Actually. Oh, I was hoping to get a 200 damage shot on him. Took out an enemy. If we could have like gone in, it would have been nice if we just went in there and like just one tapped him. Probably sh should put a side on this. You can run, but you can't hide, Octane. I killed an enemy. You stole me kill. How dare you? We could have maybe had a 20, but I just highly doubt it. Because everyone just died. Another 20 would be nice, but so much luck. They're fighting over here. We need to get ready to kill these guys. Body, diddy. No, no, nah, we're not going to get it. So many fights going on right now. We need like a lobby full of campers. They're fighting up there. They're fighting over here. Yeah, rip 20. Watch people die in the storm too. We still get like a decent game here. Yep. Rip the dream. Why are you guys going to be killing each other, man? It's not very nice. No, I fucked up. Now they're gonna fight each other. What the? I don't know, I still feel like the R301 is still better than the flatline. The guy to my right, and then there's obviously a sniper that messed up the guy that nearly messed me up. That bloody Pathfinder had to just cuck everything up by rushing me pre-firing with the devotion. 
30 seconds. That's half a minute. Boom, pop, pow, massive in solo. That would have killed himself. Oh, that actually got me. I think there's a guy up top. Ooh. Come here, boy! Okay. We get it, you're good. I just wanted to punch you, but I got sort of scared. You intimidated me. You're a beast, we get it. It's a tank of all tanks. Please give me a crabber. Give me something fun to play with, game. That's not fun. That's not very nice. Ooh. Using grapple. 30 seconds. That's half a minute. 15 damage. I'm just gonna let him kill me. He deserves to win more than I do. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. Young God, dude. Let's go, Z Wallace. Big win. <laughs> he didn't heal that whole time. He was so wanted to kill me. I couldn't do it to him, dude. He had 10 health and he just didn't care. He just wanted to kill me so bad. The only thing he cared about was winning. He didn't care about healing. He didn't care about his health. 